Framing. Now, let's get into the proper frame of mind. These are the most commonly used framing options to cover action in a scene. I've never seen anything like this. Singles, which can be clean or dirty. Two shot. Over the shoulder. Point of view. And finally, the insert. Our first framing convention, the single. A single shot features one character alone in the frame. The individual character is the primary focus. But there are two ways to frame a single. A clean single is when no part of any other character is visible in the frame. It's best used when you want to convey a character's isolation. Whereas a dirty single includes a limited presence from another character in the frame. And don't forget that singles, like all of the framing options, can be combined with any of the shot sizes we covered in the last video. Whether it's a close-up, a medium shot, or a wide shot, the single still applies. When two characters are visible together in frame, this is called the two-shot. The orientation of the characters to one another can vary, but to be considered a two-shot, both faces must be clearly visible. The two-shot is all about creating a visual relationship between two characters. This relationship might be affectionate, contentious, or even imaginary. When more characters are added to the frame, the terminology adjusts to three shot, four shot, and so on. There is no official limit on how high this number can go. One, two, three, four, five. But numbering this would be overkill. Best to just call it a crowd shot. Remember that no matter how many characters you include in a single frame, you are creating a relationship between them. The most common and useful way of covering a conversation is the over-the-shoulder shot. An OTS shot acts like a hybrid between a single and a two shot, and similar to a single, we're often only focusing on one character at a time. Does someone see it? From these OTS angles, we get perspectives from both sides and a sense that we are included in the moment. Can I help you? I hope so. I'm an old friend of George's. Thought I'd stop and say hello. When you want the audience to experience the perspective of a character, it can be effective to frame up a point of view or POV shot. The idea of the POV can cover a wide range of perspectives. An alien, a camera, a disembodied spirit, or even a shark. In many cases, a POV shot is also paired with POV audio, so we can see what they see and hear what they hear. The insert shot is not just about going extremely tight on a detail. The way the information is framed is often even more important than how prominent it is on screen. Inserts can also be combined with POV shots, a first-person perspective. Or are we looking at the insert shot from a third-person perspective? or a hybrid frame like this. 
both an elegant insert and an effective POV. We've covered the most common types of camera framing, but now let's put it all together. Let's look at Bong Joon-ho's Parasite. This sequence of scenes is about the physical and ideological connections between family members. Watch how the director ties them together through framing decisions. An ultra-wide foreshot of the Kims in the Park family's backyard. An insert shot of four whiskey glasses being filled. A medium foreshot of the Kim family. A hybrid foreshot OTS POV. A close up dirty single. A dirty single. A dirty two shot. A dirty OTS shot. A complimentary OTS. A dirty single. A full four shot. A two shot. Pans over to a different two shot. The pan continues to a three shot. A dirty single. A dirty single. An OTS shot. A clean single. Pans over to frame another clean single. <laughs> Lastly, a wide four shot. <laughs> As we've seen, the way you frame a shot helps guide the scene in the desired direction. Once you understand what you want to achieve in the scene, you can decide how best to frame your subjects. Plan out your shots in detail before production.